Hi, I'm Greg, your car angel. When my clients bring me their cars, sometimes I see that the bumper cover clips have either been broken off or they're entirely missing. And this is usually a result of a small incident that there's no actual damage on the bumper cover, but it was enough to break the clips. And what this results in is a misalignment in the seam between the bumper cover and the quarter panel. On a newer car, I would generally recommend that my client bring it to a body shop. But on a car such as this, that only has maybe three or four more years left on the life of it, this car actually has 171,000 miles, then I would recommend doing this repair because it costs virtually nothing and the results are outstanding and you probably will never have to take the bumper cover off. You see this all the time, bumper covers that are knocked out of line and if you look closely in this seam, you'll see that it's simply the small plastic clip that breaks away and it doesn't take much for these clips to fail. It happens all the time. Now for this hack, you're gonna need some duct tape, some painter's tape, a pair of gloves, a small container or even a couple of containers from your local Mexican takeout restaurant, a plastic knife, and some quick setting adhesive. I personally really like JB Quick, but there's also something called uh, Permatex Cold Weld. It does the same thing. Now JB Weld comes in regular and it comes in quick. You wanna get the quick setting, which is also what the cold weld is. And it takes about seven or eight minutes for it to set. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to test the bumper and the quarter panel for proper alignment. Once you have the alignment all figured out and you're confident that your seam is going to be consistent, you're ready to prep the bumper with your painter's tape. Now this tape ensures that you don't have any mess with the glue on the outside portion of the seam. What you want is to make sure the only area that has the adhesive on it is on the inside of the seam so that your job looks clean. You're gonna place the painter's tape on the area all the way to the inside shoulder of the seam. Now next, you're going to identify the contact points, which are most likely the two areas where the clips failed. These are the places where you're going to apply your adhesive. Now you're gonna get your gloves on and you're gonna mix up your adhesive in equal parts and it really has to be equal parts to get the best quality adhesion. Now I find that you have to mix up much more than you think you're going to need and that's because you don't want to be caught short with this because you don't have time to mix up any more halfway through this process. Now I found that by really agitating the glue it makes it a better set. Now once that is thoroughly mixed you have just a couple minutes where everything has to be perfect before this is set in stone. But before you put the adhesive on, you're gonna pull back the bumper and you're gonna generously apply the adhesive inside the seam. I've also used a straw to force the glue into a very tight area if that's what you have. And you can also use a broken chopstick. That works really well. As soon as the glue is placed, take your duct tape and bring the seam together to its original factory position, not too tight and not too loose. Remember, you want this to look as natural as possible. If you need to apply some pressure from the outside to get the alignment, you can get a two by four or a bit of wood and put some pressure on the cover. You don't want your duct tape to stay on your paint for any longer than maybe 10 or 15 minutes because uh, you'll have some residue, so don't leave the duct tape on overnight. JB Quick and the Permatex talk about the setting time around seven or eight minutes. Uh, you'll know that it's set when the stuff inside here is completely hard, and then you'll know that that's also the same way. So now we're gonna go ahead and take this off and you're going to see how we did here. So 
So this one was a little trickier than I thought. Uh, I think I put the tape in a little bit too deep into the seams, you know, because when we removed the tape, we kind of were catching some adhesive with it. And uh, I think on the other side, I'll be a little bit better about not putting it as deep. But for $5 worth of adhesive and a half an hour of my time, it looks a lot better than it did before. And you have a nice alignment that should last you for years to come. So I'm Greg, your car angel. Thanks so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.